Hello, and welcome to the MPO video on the Battle of the Plains of Abraham. We are glad you could join us today. After Wolfe, the British general, and his troops captured Louisburg in Nova Scotia, they set their sights on Quebec City. The British decided to strike by first taking Ile d'Orleans because it was the only undefended area near Quebec City. The French saw the British fleet and decided to send fire ships to try to sink them. The tactic almost worked, but the British were able to intercept the fire ships before they reached the British fleet and render them ineffective. As Wolfe looked at the situation, he realized that he could easily attack the south shore of Quebec in Lévis because it was not well defended. And then, from that position, he could bombard Quebec to try to get the French General Montcalm to come out and fight. But the ruse did not work, and Montcalm stayed in the citadel, well protected behind its walls. So Wolfe decided to attack the French position near Montmorency Falls at Beauport, but this attack was a complete disaster for the British. Yet Wolfe was not ready to give up, so on September 13, 1759, he tried again. He took his army in small boats in the middle of the night and drifted down the river to where the cliffs were steep so the defense was weak. They landed at anse aux fallon undetected and unopposed. The French sentinel, who was expecting others, asked him, Que vive? Who's there? And Donald MacDonald, a British soldier, replied in impeccable French, Francais. The trickery worked, so Wolfe's men climbed the cliff without opposition, and the soldiers captured the French position at the top of the cliff. All night, the troops climbed the cliffs, and the next morning, the British army was positioned facing Quebec City, on what is now the Plains of Abraham, which was a field belonging to a farmer named Abraham at the time. As the British were preparing their attack, a Scotsman came and told the French General Montcalm that the British army was on the Plains of Abraham. At first, Montcalm thought the man was drunk, but eventually, he realized that it was true, and that he had no choice but to bring his army there. His army was stationed near Montmorency Falls at Beauport, so he sent a message to march the troops quickly to the Plains of Abraham. As they finally arrived, they saw the long line of British troops stretching for more than one mile, covering the whole width of the Plains of Abraham. Once they saw the British line, Montcalm's men began firing about 120 meters from the British line. The shots were too far away from the British to be effective. Wolfe's soldiers stood firm until the French were about 40 meters away. Then they fired their first volley, quickly followed by a second one, which halted the French. The French started to retreat and retreated all the way back to Beauport. In that short skirmish, Wolfe was fatally wounded and died on the battlefield. Montcalm was also wounded and died the next day in Quebec City. The British then laid siege to Quebec, and on September 18th, just a few short days later, the French commander surrendered to the British. This is how Wolfe won the battle on the Plains of Abraham. We hope that you enjoyed this short presentation on the Battle of the Plains of Abraham. Please stay tuned on this channel for more historical videos.